semi-final of the Canadian National Championship. Um, I'm your host, Stephen Moss, with my co-host, Alan Fung, and we have a guest host, Sami. Hello. Um, hey, guys. For a very interesting semi-final game. So we are finally going to see an FSR2 on stream. Uh, we've actually not had one yet. Um, versus a Kanan Biggs list, if I'm not mistaken, right, Alan? Yeah, Kanan Biggs uh, being run by Bohan. It's got a bit of a twist to it, so you can see the cards, but he has Ray and Rex Beck, recon specialists, um, but he dropped Finn for engine upgrade and FCS on Kanan, and he also preserves a two point bid. So. It's really good in this meta because it obviously shuts down Miranda, shuts down Nim pretty hard with the, the double tap TLT. But on top of that, the PS5 engine with a bid gives him a significant advantage against this list. Against this list. Now, I will say I am surprised because I imagine he gave Ryan the initiative. I am surprised that he chose to set up directly across from him. Yeah, you um, think you would want to drag him to the rocks to try to get information? Wonder if he's going to turn away. Yeah, but maybe, but maybe, um, maybe this is how he always opens. He just kind of shoots past them after the first engagement and forces them to turn around while he keeps shooting. I mean, that works too. Right. I mean, I can't imagine he's not practiced against FSR. Yes. He could also just. Uh, turn down board and just come draw them through the rocks anyways. You might yeah. be setting them up for a fake out. The only thing is that like this particular engagement, he like range control plays a really big um, factor here because if he gets caught at range three and takes a bunch of shots and then Ryan does like a one straight, he's not getting passed after the first volley. In fact he's taking two bigs would go down quick. Um, so he has to play this right so one thing we have to keep in mind too is for Ryan, he's running your typical fair share rebel. He has selflessness on the Jess. Draw the fire on low rig. Draw the fire on low rig. Tactician on low rig. Chopper, probably on low rig. Yeah, and uh, I believe it's a naked Rex. Yep. Yeah, if he's running like standard FSR with Tactician, that's probably how he's got it laid out. Yeah. It's uh, Jess, Biggs, low rig, Rex, uh, Rose Squadron, Ace on Twitch. So he just turns it away. Yeah, and I do believe everybody. This is like the standard. It's standard FSR two with tactician yeah. versus like Wookies. Um, you know this. I'm actually a little surprised. Uh, Ryan and Castle. I don't think that's Ryan's style of play. He's a. Uh, He's pretty open, he's a pretty great guy. I think he came to play, not to castle, I think. Not that there's anything against the tactic, but I just feel like, having seen him play a couple matches, he's just in there to have a great time and just come at you. Can I just say, you guys reek of alcohol? That's because I've had drinks, Alan. Just because Catch I forgot up. to ask if you wanted a beer, don't be mad. <laughs> I'm not mad, I'm just between two drunks right now. I'm probably gonna get drunk off your breath. I'm not drunk, I'm pleasantly buzzed. Fair. All right, so what we got here is um, Bohan's going to set up for the chase. Ryan's probably... That's a tough position, right? Because if he goes fast, he might be able to clip. He might be able to clip Biggs eventually, but that cannon with the engine gives him so many options. I think he's going to three bank the ghost and just take that lane right there. Just drag him through all the rocks, make a break formation and chase him. Can't leave Biggs behind though. The boat, you're right with the boost, you would, wouldn't he? Yeah. Even the three bank. Well, the three true. bank would open him up. Yeah. Which is fine. Maybe Bohan likes Kanan taking some damage first, but keep in mind that Kanan's ability only works at range one to two, so it's not. A range three chip damage engagement isn't ideal for him. Especially because it looks like Ryan's bigs, they're both employing similar tactics. They have the bigs at the back, so they actually want the they actually want the other ships to start taking ship damage before committing their bigs back in to really spread the damage out on top of the damage mitigation that they already have in their list. 
Doesn't that actually benefit, though, if you were able to chip a couple of damage off the ships before the big bubble evaporates? That, I don't know, I, I don't have very much tactics against this kind of a list. Though. No. The thing with uh, FSR is if Bohan let too many ships get in, it does a little more than chip damage in. Like, if you know you're taking just a little bit back, you can throw in a substantial amount of damage on that front row. Like, that's three coming out of lower, three coming out of just, which is probably going to hit for three. Mm -hmm. It's true. And then two coming out of rex, and then getting the suppressive fire going. I think Ryan needs to speed this up a bit. He's he's going as slow as he can with a TIE fighter, and this is going to give a huge ray bank for Kanan. Which is what he Bohan wants. Yeah, he's playing it cautiously because I think he wants to see where the ghost is going to commit. But um, it's this is going to be bad if uh, if he builds up, you know, like a four or five bank. Because then, because then that will unleash Bohan's boost, right? Mm. Yep. Yeah, this is interesting with the engine on Kanan. It gives him a lot of flexibility to just kind of skirt that edge. Yeah. So I imagine it's going to be a three bank coming in from Ryan for everyone. And he should try to cut off bigs, is my guess. Jacob, the list here, so if you're referring to the other two lists, um, there's a Dash Miranda. Sorry, Ray Miranda. Sorry, Ray Miranda. There is a Dash Miranda as well. I think it's out. There's only four less left. Semifinals. Oh. So it lost last round then? Yeah. I guess so, yeah. So, it's, yeah, it's a Ray Miranda versus the uh, Triple Skurg that uh, was on stream earlier. And then this. Yes, and then this. So, guys, congratulations. You have officially made top three. Yay. Yeah, the Tack Jammer Finn is a little different, um, and that's probably the more standard version of the build. Um, I've not really seen the engine upgrade recon spec. It's a nice twist. You have to give Bohan credit for it. Yeah. Um, I know a lot of people don't like playing against Kanan Biggs, but I mean... It's really good. It's, it's and then really, really a ghost really with a engine upgrade is really good, even worse. <laughs> with a bid? Yeah. yeah. It's just like, if you're a fair ship, you don't want to see this build. Yeah. So I think Bohan has a really big advantage here. Selflessness doesn't do anything. Draw the fire doesn't do anything. Rex helps, right? Like, Rex can really keep, keep the TLT damage down, yep. but I don't know. What, what do you guys think about what Ryan's doing here? Kind of just like, again, he's, he's going, he, if he could do a one trade, he probably would be. But, oh, uh, yeah. So. This was a little surprised we didn't see the castle. Like, this isn't a bad list matchup to maybe do that against, uh, because you don't really want to chase Bohan's list. He's got engine. He can skirt this range band. Yeah, the moment exactly, you start yeah. going in with damage, there's nothing stopping him from being able to continue just doing that. That's exactly it. The ghost really wants to kite in this situation. So this might actually be playing into Bohan's game. Maybe this is what he was hoping would happen. He can drag him through and he can just kite. He can just pluck him away with the rex the rec spec. And as you were saying, he's building up a lot of rape saves for when he needs to start burning his engine. Yeah, Axel, you're right. Sorry, I forgot about that. If he hits range, yeah. I agree Rex needs to shoot bigs first. Um, the way this is sitting, unless uh, Ryan goes extremely aggressive, yeah. likely Rex won't be in range of bigs. Yeah, Axel, I guess what I meant is, you know, if they have a range 3 eng engagement with just the ghost alone, he can suppress them at least with a double tap, so. This is kind of one of these things where Bohan can just put around just a little bit at a time until you start getting in range of combat and then just play just enough so you can just keep continually sitting at range three and planking away a part of the list. I, I like the sorry for cutting off, I like the idea of him trying to check try to lock on both Rex and then on uh, Jess as well, just to really really dial in his range and then he knew he could technically shoot at the, at, at the Wookiee there and he went for the Rex spec anyway. So this, I mean it's an interesting little little style I've got there. I like what Ryan's doing. He's He's trying to find the angle on Bohan's bigs. Yeah, I mean, if I were Ryan, I would just keep going up the board. Just turn around the top. Just chasing the whole way around? 
slowly. I think I would I not try to turn in here. No, you wouldn't. Mm -mm. You wouldn't not against bank? an engine. No, you won't get enough arcs on. He'll have uh, the Osta. <laughs> I don't. Does the Osta have a hard three at all? Uh, it, does. it does. Yeah, Osta does have a hard three. You could get it on the rock with that. Just drag all the way across. No, I think I would get, keep going just up the side of the board. Do you think Sorry. Ryan's working towards a final salvo? <laughs> no, seriously. I would. Because if they kill each other's bigs, that's what it comes down to. Oh, really? And that's definitely in his favor. No, for real. I think that's what I would do. I would just... Yeah. This would have been one with FSR2. I think I would have castled. And then if I did break out, just slowly walk up the side of the board. They've already they've already drained 10 out of the 75 minutes. Mm. Oh, sorry. We can sit a little bit closer to the mic. Is this any better? Well, I... Is it anyone? If anyone else is having audio issues, let us know. But it could be your TV or app or whatever. They're not really saying anything. I but when we talk, can you hear us? No. Oh. I only have that mic up there. Okay, so audio is fine. You know, that's it. Yeah. Good. Does the shuttle count in if it's docked? Does it count in the uh, final salvo? Hmm? I imagine it would. Yeah, if it's on, yeah. So you've only got a one die advantage, though. Would you really want to gamble on one die? Just, just, wouldn't you? Four, four, three, seven plus another three is ten. That one's rocking eleven, I believe. Ryan would rock eleven die versus his full hunt's ten. I don't know well, if I would gamble my entire... I don't know if I would gamble top four on on one die. I wouldn't either, but I, I do it's think... It's a tactic. I, see what I do think the slower the game goes, the better. Because if he gets half on the ghost and they trade bigs, right? Ryan wants to right. slog this right. game out. Yeah. So slowly plinking away at the ghost is exactly what he's looking for. Yeah, mm -hmm. so bon, Bohan's... Go I'd say Bohan has a list advantage. But Ryan... Like any fair ship rebel game or fair ship list, you're not taking it out fast. Time is on your side. Yep. You never need to rush for your engagement. You take your time. Yep. And honestly, like that's part of the reason why it does. Oh, this is a really odd formation. Okay, that solves, saves it a bit. Ooh, that was close there, Ryan. Well, see, the thing I think he wants right now is to. Um, well, Biggs obviously for Bohan's not going to be shooting. Ryan may be out of range, or uh, Bohan might be out of range. Okay. All right, guys, we've, uh, yeah, we got three people huddle, huddled around one mic, so yeah, maybe our voices are just a bit low. That's what I agree. I mean, I don't think Ryan should be agreeing overly much, uh, overly engaging. He should kind of sit at this range and play it slow. Um, I don't think I would have turned in here. Uh, I can see why he did. Um, I just personally wouldn't have. I would have kept it going nice and slow around the top of that board and just turned in. Because um, you do have that one die in final salvo. It comes down to it. Yeah, I mean, they're already 15 minutes in, right? They're already, what is that? They're 20% of the way through the game, and they're just finally getting a shot through. This is a, I don't know if it's, if it's by design, but, like, Ryan is in the perfect, perfect angle for this Biggs. Because Biggs is going to, first of all, have trouble maintaining, not getting an arc of all four of those ships, and Kanan's ability is not going to be of much use. Those ships can slow roll. This is great flying by Ryan, I have to say. He's kept Biggs out of it. Bohan's big is Biggs is not contributing. No. Um, I mean, Rex could have been in there, but it's fine. He'll be in there eventually.
He takes no damage from the reinforce. Yep. He's gonna roll one. Takes no damage from the reinforce. This is this is so nasty. This is going Ryan's way so far. It's really early, but he must be feeling fairly happy with those results. Yeah, that's exactly what I was saying. Ryan uh, likes to play the game. I don't think he's going to worry too much about time. He's just going to go in there and mix it up, I think. Wait, what's... Did I, did I mix it up? Who's shooting who right now? Oh, now Bohan's shooting. Oh. Right. Because Ryan has initiative. Yeah. So, Bohan must be really happy then. Has Kanan taken any damage? Kanan hasn't taken any damage. Yep. No, he's already got two shields in the Lorik. That's pretty good. Yep. And Kanan hasn't taken any damage from, really uh, from Lorik. Yeah. That's not bad, actually. Okay, so completely ignore what I was talking about earlier. Well, it looks like he was able to push through the last two hits on the end of round activation shots. Right. Even, yes. even through the reinforce, which is still pretty great. That's what you want. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I thought it was the other way around. And I think if he continues to lead him on this, which I assume that Bohan's going to take all of that open board space and go straight, he might actually be able to drop, if he's lucky, he could drop Lorak before Biggs can envelop him. Like, that's a dream, I think, at that point. If you're killing ships outside of the Biggs bubble, that's pretty great. I think Bohan just forgot his second CLT. You think? Yeah. I think so. It's a little tough to tell who's actually rolling. I'll have to look at um, the players more at the actual table versus the stream camera. So Jess is out of range? I'm super confused. I feel like she might have had range on... Oh wait, no, sorry. I keep forgetting there's a Biggs hidden behind that. Yeah. Underneath that very skinny silhouette of the ghost. Yeah. My bad. Sorry guys. Tired from yesterday. Who's the one complaining about us being drunk? <laughs> I'm telling you, it's a breath. <laughs> So you're probably going to see a bunch of... Obviously, the most he's going to do is 2-4, but he might even get... Ryan might get crazy with it and come really close. He might push for the freeze. You don't think? I think you're going to see him go in aggressive. That's what I think you're going to see. One straight? Well, you, and then the, the two, two to tighten the everybody up again, the one bank. That would be very very good choice as well. Mm -hmm. He can reform, and then he can dig them in through those two rocks and try to cut off Bohan's escape off the side of the board. Yeah, I think Tyler's got it right. Okay, yeah, so we didn't misinterpret that. So Lowick did um, did first dodge set, the yes. first set yep. Okay, with the reinforce, and then he took two from the mm. second. <clears throat> yeah. I'm not saying whether or not it is the right choice or not, Jeremy is the best Howard, but I'm saying that sometimes people play with emotions instead of with brains, and sometimes that's a fun way to play X-Wing. Oh. Hey, Tim. <laughs> Have you guys done any breakdowns of some of these, like, the list that we're seeing in the meta in case there's any new, new viewers that haven't seen some of the stuff that's out there? Um, no, not really. Um, who wants to give that breakdown? Well, I mean, I've kind of been out of the scene myself a bit, so maybe I'm not the best person to talk about it. But if anybody doesn't understand, what makes fair... Fairship Rebels so, so the, potent. Yep. So the biggest with thing with Fairship Rebels is um, A, it has Biggs, one of the best Rebel ships in the game. Mm -hmm. Been around since the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, and then combined with that, it has the Reinforce from Lowrick, which if you're within range one, um, allows you to add an evade result. So it can make the Biggs extremely tanky if he's taking damage, or whoever tanky if they're taking damage. Mm -hmm. What is, what is going on here? Rex, uh, with a suppressive fire condition, shooting back in. And then also on top of that, you have Drawler Fire, 
mm -hmm. which allows Lower to draw crits that might be coming in off of bigs um, that he can't mitigate due to R4D6. And then you have selflessness on top of that in case there's another big shot coming in where you can just pull all of the damage into someone else. There must be something we're missing on camera, guys. Bigs must be pointing in a direction that's odd. Either that or Ryan's really confused. The, the Ostech does not have a K turn, if I recall, correct? He's turning out, but like... No, no I mean, the Ostech can't turn. He better -turn, praise right? God that that ghost is going fast. Otherwise, he's just eating four TLT shots for this nothing. This was an odd... We'll, we'll have to... We'll, Biggs must be pointing towards the bottom right corner or something. Oh, yeah, this is I mean, not, yeah, I kind of agree with the idea of... This is... Chasing him into the rocks wasn't a great idea. No, but I think this is a terrible move. I think once you've decided that you've chased him into the rocks bad or not, I think at that point you should have just committed and trying to wear him down. Now, you, like you, Alan's you, saying, you, you're going to expose your flank to four TLTs for nothing. This list does have the... Um, pretty much like the bulk and sustainability to stay alive to where you, a bad decision It's pretty forgiving. Right, but so like he might just be eating this shot with the idea that he'll turn around and then just continue putting around the board. Positionally speaking, even with the reinforced action on the rear of Lorik, he's still going to take four shots, four TLTs. He might actually go down four more damage potentially. Oh, I don't. On think the ship that's supposed idea. to be keeping Biggs alive. I agree. This isn't a good idea. Oh, okay. So Chris Allen thinks that it could be a time thing. It could be. You could be right. I mean, we've gone through now 20 minutes, so. Or more than that? No, 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. So more than a quarter, but... Mm. I I don't know about this. He could have just done a one straight is the problem, right? Like... No, he can't chase. I agree. He should be sitting out because until you're dead with this list, um, you're not giving a path. Alan's the only one in arc. Gotcha. You want to aim more to your right? So try to put this. Just think of it from the left. Like to try to kiss Alan, basically. Yeah. Try to talk. So we've been informed that every time we want to talk, we have to lean in and try to kiss Alan. So it's a win win situation. Talk my life. <laughs> you want to get breakfast first or something? I'm starving, dude. If you guys want to wine and dine me, go for it. <laughs> Well, the bar is open. True. I haven't eaten today. That was a mistake. Oh, I have almonds. Be right back. <clears throat> What's the tightest turn the Aztec has? Two? Too hard. You can do a one bank. So it's gonna it's gonna take him a bit of time to get around that big rock there. Down there. So. That's the thing. Like uh, Ryan doesn't have to play this fast. Like until a ship goes down, he has the attack and dice advantage. Um, he's not giving up half points on anything. Um, right now the damage is spread out, so only damage has been done to Lorik. The moment the uh, formation gets sunk in, he's going to have to deal damage to Biggs first. He just doesn't have to play this quickly, and he shouldn't be. Um, given 11 v 10, I think percentage-wise, isn't a super great percentage. Um, you do obviously have some up, but I think it's probably only like, what, a 12% or something like that. So here's a question. Is he playing this way, avoiding a fight, to go for a last-minute gamble? And by last minute, I mean like the last 15-minute gamble where he trades bigs and gets half health on... Cannon. On cannon, or is he truly going for the 11 versus 10 final salvo? Hmm. <laughs> no one has an opinion. Um, I I don't think I personally don't think I just think I love FSR, so I like. I wouldn't have turned in to begin with. I would have slow putted this thing around the castle in the beginning of the game. Um. But I sure as heck wouldn't be the one pushing the engagement, because you don't have to. Fair enough. I'm I'm no no, hi, no no hiding my feelings here. I really don't like lists like FSR, but 
Uh, I can't I can't deny their their beauty and the way they're built and the way they're designed. But I don't know. I, I don't think I would as me as a player I would never try to play for a final salvo or play for a time sort of thing. But that's probably why I didn't make top sixteen. Along other reasons. So I don't know. It's not the fact that I think he's necessarily trying to like play it slow. He just doesn't have to play aggressive, nor should he be. Like he doesn't have to push the pace in this if he doesn't want to. So if you see something really obvious where you can sink a whole ton of damage in, go for it. Um, so people are saying that it's yeah. a sixty to forty odds. Yeah. So then Rose Squadron and Tyler, would you guys? Yeah. Would you take? I get sixty forty is a pretty good split. Good, good, good call. Okay, fair enough. That's why I'm an artist and not a mathematician because I don't know numbers. That yeah, makes sense. It's good enough. That's a pretty size. That's better than most other odds in them. And then going heads up against somebody basically. Well, it's not only that too, right? Like you're losing out on. Um, you get 60, sorry. 40. It's not about it's not about hate. I don't hate to listen in the slightest. It's, it's it's just it's um it's difficult to punish even if you don't do things correctly, you still get away with a lot of stuff. That's all. It's a very forgiving list. Yeah. Um, but the thing I guess is is that with the with it, um we're talking about a meta that has turrets everywhere. And the list doesn't have turrets. So it is a little bit um it's kind of refreshing. Like, you do have to point arcs in the right way to get the list to work. Um, you've got four ships. It doesn't turn around super easily. Mm. Um, it can turn around pretty easily, but it doesn't turn around super fast. But it, it's good. I like it. He does not want to boost here. No. And the problem is, is once Bohan starts boosting, it's going to be tough to keep bigs. Like, he can't. No, I meant that. Mm. Oh, Jess. But I think Gosh. he didn't. I, I think he didn't want to ruin his um, too hard formation. Yeah. Yes. I'd agree more with FSR's backup win condition as Final Salvo. You can, like, certainly play the game in the way that you get to decide. You can force your opponent to be the one that's taking the fight to you if you want. I agree, Gold Squadron Podcast. I think you should have taken it to the left. Yep. He's lucky Low Rig does, doesn't have like four less health. <laughs> this is an interesting situation. He technically can't do that. What's he doing? He's measuring to... He's trying really hard to determine... Well, listen, he's, trying, he's probably calling to measure to Rex. He did, yeah, but, like, he left there for a good time. I, I think he's trying to measure Archon. Well, that's fine. He got it as soon as he tried to lock on him or... Are you the Juggernaut? No. No. Oh. And I don't care. <laughs> Boosting. Going for bigs, I guess. Like, I, th I think he sees an opportunity to get in behind the list in two turns, and I think that's maybe what he's going for. Uh, maybe, hmm. but then now he can't hard two. Ooh, oh, that's I don't know. It's a bold this move, is Cotton. different. Oh, here we go. I don't know why he did this, to be honest. Oh, no. Yeah, Rick, you can measure. It's just like as soon as like as soon as it's out of arc, you can't like keep it there. You know what I mean? Maybe you can. 
three dice on bigs. He's going to Spend the reinforce. Focus on the reinforce. I'd actually ask for a measure on that. There we mm -hmm. go. Yeah. No. Spend the reinforce. No damage. Would you have done that? Spend both tokens? Yeah. I guess so. One shield off bigs? Yeah. Just like it. This is definitely the top four. Spinning the target lock. Gets it. Oh. Or not target lock. That was chess, I guess. That's big. Second to the T shot. Mm. And it's end of combat attacking. Yeah, yeah goal scoring. That's my, maybe what he's thinking of, right? The pincer then? Yeah, I think so. Mm. Yeah, if Rex can get that shot suppressive fire on Kanan, very big deal. Mm. So then that being, that being said, do you think Bohan's going to go very fast next turn to get out of Rex's arc? Three bank boost gets him probably out of the way. Something like that, yeah. And then he's in behind all that list. Question now is though, if you're Ryan, do you turn your entire list on the ghost now that it's free of the big bubble, or do you just you might as well? It's worth way more points. Burn it down. It's got zero evades. Just punch it. Yeah. Problem is, I guess, is you are trying to chase a ship with an engine upgrade. It's a big base that has a three maneuver and a five strain. It's very difficult to catch or four strain, but still, it's very fast. What would you do here, Alan? If you were uh, Ryan? Well, so you think turn the entire list onto bigs and just burn them down, and then go after the ghosts after? It's not a bad idea either. I would consider. Yeah, it's actually a really good. I don't know. That's actually a really good idea. Make him chase the rest of your list. I think killing bigs is easy, but or is probably the easier decision. But Jess is stressed, unfortunately, so she won't have to focus. You also want Rex shooting at Kanan as it turns around. So I would almost be inclined to do the two hard, do a one straight with Jess, have bigs do like a four straight or three bank to preserve him a bit, and then have Rex two bank in as well or three bank in to at least like reduce some of the TLT damage for, because the TLT damage will be reduced for not only the end phase, but the entire duration, or no, just the combat phase of the next phase. Well, you don't think he's going to K-turn bigs in behind to keep the formation, so he's playing all, all point in the right direction? I don't know, it looks like he's going for the, uh, looks like he's going for the ghost right now. Look at that, he's marking. This is risky. I think he's hoping that the the ghost is banking right here. Of course, yeah. Which, uh, admittedly, is really the only thing you could do. Yeah. Even if it goes one straight, you call that a wash. I don't know about this. You the thing really is, okay, want Rex So he can make this shot. I kind of get it, because he didn't think he would be able to not bump, basically, with Rex. Hard, hard one? He was. Could hard one. Um, he can hard one out on next turn if he wants to. I True. know, but just... 
again, because the suppressive fire applies for both the end and the combat of the next phase. I agree. Right. Yes. Yep. It's yeah, a really big deal. Good. That condition's a hugely important thing to get yeah. on, especially on a two-ship list. Well, you the whole strength in the TLT is that it's three attacks twice, yep. but if you reduce down to two, like, that's... You're right. You really need that suppressive fire kick firing on big. Really you really big gotta, sorry, so on it looks like you really got to really slow down did, the TLT. He mainly did commit to throwing this on bigs with a little bit of Jess. And Jess can throw some damage on Kanan. And now this is crazy. You think Ryan might be splitting his swarm to ch have Jess chase? I mean, that, it's only kind Jess, of, though, though, because next round, Jess can go ahead and two turn. Like, Jess two can turn, turn back turn, in. Um, and if he wants to continue on with oh, Kanan. Well read by Bohan. Up. It looks fine. Nicely, yeah, nicely yeah. done. Ball red. Well, I mean, you know one direction is you could be potentially facing a lot of heat, and you know you go the other direction. So you this, take heat so this kind of sucks. So it's unless he boosts, he's going to get shot up by Travis, mm -hmm. and that's very, very easily another three damage. Right, mm -hmm. which puts him out of shields. Puts him out of shields, yeah. So he has to do the boost. Which is where the engine upgrade on the ghost comes in really handy in this yeah. setup. Biggs doesn't have a shot. This is all Ryan this round. Could see a swing. Maybe. I mean, he has a any, little. He has any evade on Rex though. Yeah. Oh. Takes one. So there's one, two, one. I'm not really sure what happened there. I think one, maybe I think two. One. I thought it was one. It looked like he removed two. He's seeing if he has a shot from his bigs. Bigs on bigs love. Let's see how many dicey rolls. Nope, it's just Rex so gets Rex. the two. Ooh, evaded. Fortunate. Well, he had to focus, so he's okay, I guess. But he suppressed. No, Rex, uh, yeah, he did take the evade action with Rex. Um, I don't know. <laughs> why he took the evade action with Rex there. I guess he thought maybe Bohan might have turned Biggs into his entire break, which I, I think, think he would have. I think he would have been in range of Rex, or you would have been range in Biggs again. Oh, no, I'm just saying, you would never have wanted to have turned it in. I'm just saying, maybe that's what he was worried about. Yep. It's true, down is up and left is right. Nothing makes sense anymore. This is... 38. 38. So we're more than halfway for Kinsey Math right now. You know, it's honestly, it's probably just road memory at this point. Like, his, his default action he wants to take is an evade. Um, well, the entire purpose is the longer you, yeah, the longer you preserve re game. Rex, the, the better it is, so. So I imagine. Austin's like probably gonna do three bank or something like that, and two straight, two straight or something. I think you're right. I think at this point now you commit the entire list, which means Bohan's gonna have to. He's not gonna be able to get Bigs out of there fast enough, though. I think. I think you might. He might be able to drop his Bigs quite quickly now. This Jess is gonna be out of position, though. Yes. Jess can reposition, though. Yes. She can do. She can do the two and the boost. Travis is uh, trolling us, what? telling us to smile. No, it's not Travis. Oh yeah, the different Travis. No, <laughs> no. We're all drunk up here. That's how we. That's how we roll. Pleasantly buzzed. Pleasantly buzzed, yes. And that's a good point there, Dra Nine Hundred. No, I don't understand. I can't read that one. But maybe he's just having a good time. Jess will do it. Too hard, maybe boost. What's up, buddy? So. Um, is Nate still playing? No. I see over in the corner that Nate isn't playing, it looks like. I just don't know how his game went. It's kind of even. The other one. Nate Nate's currently so winning. So he's going to be Canada versus the U.S. I guess um, Miranda's still full. Uh, one of the 
just got an update. Uh, apparently, in the other semifinal match, the Skurgs versus Dash Dash Ray Miranda Ray Ray Miranda. Uh, the Skurgs are down, so sounds like we might have a USA versus Canadian finals, what we've all dreamed for. <laughs> it shouldn't be a US against Canada. That's true. <laughs> hey man, you guys said your best. You guys said you're like assassins up here. Like you're up here. Come on, man. <laughs> Yeah, so it's going to be Nate. Yeah, I think so. So it, Nate, it's Nate Moore. He is running um, Ray Miranda. I like this. Ryan is flying this really, really well. Like, I have to say that this is not your typical way to fly Parachute Rebel in terms of, like, formation. And he did make some, I guess, questionable maneuvers earlier. But I think, like, I think it's all working out for him. Well, that's the thing. Whether or not we understand or agree with it, he is a top four. Yeah. So he's something he's been consistent. The things he's been decisions he's made have gotten him this far. So let's continue to watch what he does and, and see how he surprises us. It's fun. It's fun to see him do it. Chris Allen, what happened? Tell us the drama. Or are you saying just in general? Canadian Nationals has been successfully defended every year by a Canadian. So, I think... Who defended us last year, Alan? I did! <laughs> but that was Canadian on Canadian violence. So we were in the clear when they were in the finals. How does it feel being over here instead of out there, Alan? It feels fucking fantastic to not be <laughs> at the final tables. I'm glad to be handing over the title to someone else. Oh man, this is so good. This is such great positioning. It's a lot of fire coming Biggs' way. Ryan is not letting that ghost in without taking damage. And I have to say, like yes. Ryan Ryan is outplaying Bohan a bit. Like Bohan's Biggs is not doing what it should be. Like it's not it's not protecting. I mean, he's linking it up now, but like, he's not getting shots. Oh, he's going for the boost. Interesting move. He might hit the rock next time. I don't think oh. so. Yeah, he tried the bank boost, which would definitely have been on the rock. Oh, he tried the bank boost right? Or left, rather? Yeah. Oh, okay. I wonder if he's in range of Jess. He might not be. It's, it's hard to tell from here. Oh. Jess oh, is in God. a precarious spot right now. Jess, you think? Jess is going to eat four TLT shots. She can handle it, though. She can. Oh, Lord. That's a, that's a three hit. That's two Ooh. damage. Oh, no. <sighs> so, shield's down? Yep. Or did he have shields? Yeah, he's in the hole already on, on Biggs. Biggs has got two health left. Oh, boy. Got to spend it. Yep. Get rexed. Yeah. Only had a tactician. Didn't mean no K turn. Oh, that's good. Nice. That could have been a lot worse. Um. Oh, that's it. That is in range. Yeah. Combat 
Does he have range on bigs? That's a really good question. Might be calling a judge for that. Not sure. Yeah, uh, based on pointing, I think I'm seeing range on picks. Yeah, it looks like he has it. Oh, lordy. Ooh, oh. Ooh. Here's an interesting too, right? If he does R4D6, okay, he spends it. Yeah. Jump too, so. But that shuts down the the 4K if he's planning to. He's also got as well. Yep. Is he? Yeah, he just did. Yeah. He took three, right? Yeah. Because he only had two left. He really yeah. popped it down to two dead. now. He's yeah. on one hole now. Okay, TLT. Takes one another. Two. FCSing. Three. Another Ooh, on Jess. Damage. That's big, though. Like, he stripped all the shields on Jess. If I mean, Jess goes away on this list, this big, is not Big is going to link up. Big is going to link up. But he has spread his damage out amongst the whole list, which is exactly yeah. what the list is designed to do. Yep. No ship is in danger of going down yet, whereas no. Bohan's and about to lose his trip. Yeah. When this becomes, like, when Bohan's Bigs is off the table, that Rex is finally going to be suppressing those TLTs, mm -hmm. and then his damage output is just going to fall to, like, oblivion. Yeah, and having the R4-D6 means he no longer can K-turn this turn either. All right, here's a question. How many... Would you have expected three Rebel lists to be in the top four of Canadian Nationals? Yep. Yeah, you're a liar. Yep. No. <laughs> no. No, no I, I actually no. expected it to be majority scum Like, heavy. at this point? Yeah. No. No, I wouldn't. See, yeah, yeah I would have expected... They have Dash, they have Miranda. Yeah, yeah. They have Bigs. That's they true. They have they but do here's have the many tools. Here's, so. here's the thing with Fairship, though, right? I think Fairship does really, really well in, in Swiss because of his points preservation. But it takes, like, a good amount of skill to do well with it in the cut. I think that's the thing. Like, it survives well against, like, you know, It's single like matchups, though, right? Like, whatever you yeah. come against. Like, does FSR have bad matches? It has not great matches. It doesn't have that many terrible matches. But I would um, I would say, like, this, for example. I would say Bowen's list has a huge advantage. Or, like, he could potentially annihilate Ryan's bigs in two turns flat out, right? It's just, like, quad TLT, bam, 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 right? Who's six? Like... You know, six health. And then he also has a bigs as well, so his bigs could be shipping in. And then if they trade bigs for bigs, I would think that at that point, you know, I don't know. It's hard to say. I, I think that Bohan's list was, like, part of the reason why, because I, I was talking about him on Vassal. I was telling him that he should run this. Yeah, bombs is... I agree. Bombs That's is typically the big one yeah. that you've got to worry about. Um, stuff like Miranda Nim. Yes. But Miranda Nim is a obnoxious matchup yeah. with FSR. Um, and and the thing with Miranda especially, TLT on Miranda is so good against everything in this meta, right? It's good against Nim, it's good against Dengar, well, kind of good against Dengar, not really, I guess. Great against Fairship, because it negates selflessness, the case draw the fire, mm -hmm. yeah. all that business, right? <coughs> Yeah, exactly. Brilliant. I mean, Brilliant the moment aces too. if you yeah. can start just dumping bombs yeah. into the list, yeah. The only thing, though, is, like, someone was, like, I was having this discussion with someone else where I was like, oh, yeah, Nim chest on fair ship, right? And the guy's like, yeah, but you can't genius bomb all the time because when you crash into the front, the back rank is just lighting you up. That's right. And the back rank, and one of that back rank is always going to be an X-Wing. It's always going to be four dice and carry one. Okay, this is, this is going to be a game here, guys. I think. Oh, yeah. He's cutting off both, ex both escapes. Do you think Bohan does it too hard down with the stress, like a boss? Do you think he does it? Up that way? Oh, you no, too bigs. hard down. Or sorry, yeah, sorry, with, with his bigs. Do you think he'll do it? To block himself or? Well, okay, here's the good news. Yeah. Keenan's ability will finally be put to use. Because now there is actually stuff in range two. But also, as you said. Oh, that is a bomb. <laughs> but as you said now, uh, Rex is going to start suppressing Kanan from here on out. Ghost is turning right 100%. Yeah, I can well, see that. Well, he certainly can't go one forward. <laughs> if, it turns, if it turns right, though, it's 
really going to be stuck in a corner. Yeah, you guys are talking about his, you think he's turning ship right? Oh, ho, ho. That's a kill box if I've ever seen one in my entire life. Biggs is fine. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, I think Jess might be dead. Unless that's a Jess bomb. Jess hasn't moved yet. Nope, it's not a bomb. It just hasn't... No, Jess has moved, just yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I guess so. Jess has um, one reroll. I actually don't know. Jess... Oh, so you're going to shoot primary then on Jess. Yeah, because you have target lock from Jess. Yeah, target lock, yes. yeah. That's a dead Jess. That's big. That is really big, actually. She might get one reroll, though. She might be in range of Rex. I yeah, don't know. It's she might get one. This angle. But how much health does she have? Three? Does she have integrated? She has integrated. Yeah. Uh, it's, you might not kill Jess. We'll see. Uh, so it was Ray, So what lists are up on the other tables? Uh, it was a Ray Miranda versus uh, the Triple Skurg we saw in the last stream match. Not your typical Triple Skurg, though. It's really like different. A Nim, a Lock Revenant, and a Pirate. Um, two Auto Blaster turrets, one TLT, uh, Nim, and the Lock with the Auto Blasters, and uh, Accuracy Corrector. So it was, a, it was a really interesting list to fly or to see being flown. Um, oh, that's bad. I don't know what that whip was. It was two eyes and a, and a hit. Yeah, but. Plus on a blank. That was the odds to turn Lordic on Biggs, I think. These are bad rules. He needs these. At least it's suppressed. He can kill Jess. And if Jess dies, that's bad because. Oh, the list offense takes a giant nose dive. But also Jess the points, dies. the point differential is huge. It. Just has to shoot Biggs if she survives. Is it TLT? It's TLT. Who? Biggs? Nope. I'm super confused. I'm confused. I'm really confused. Is it oh, he did TLT. He moved his TLT to Biggs. Interesting. Oh, it doesn't take any damage from the reinforce. Only rolls one. Why he needs this. Oh my god. This? No. We're hearing USA chance, so we can so only assume Nate that Nate won. It's okay. If the Americans take our title, we'll just slash all their tires. Right? That's the plan? Right. Just throw them on the terror alert trying to cross the border. <laughs> we'll just steal all their passports. Uh, top 16, Imperial's accident. I, I would almost not hope to not have an arc. Yeah, they were present in top 16. There was one at the 5 TLT one. Yep. <laughs> what, what's going on now? He's got a range one. He, he doesn't have bigs and arcs, so he's range one shooting cannon right now. For one. Yeah, that must that must have been what happened earlier on. Uh, bigs must have been in range one. Yeah, we heard from across the room. Americans are nothing if they're definitely not quiet. Mm. All right, here comes the the Jess. I guess he's got to shoot bigs, assuming they're range. What? The? Uh, oh, he got reduced. He got reduced. You should do the reroll before he decides whether or not to spend the focus. Uh, spend the focus. Spend it. Uh, he spends the focus. Maybe he shouldn't wow, have. Wow, Biggs just survived. <laughs> yeah, that Ostek whiffed hard. TLT into Biggs. Ooh. Takes one. To another. Takes another. Bigs so both bigs are down to one. Oh, we're down to one now. Yeah. Okay. And they've both popped the droids. Oh! Oh, oh, he's suppressed, that's why. Yeah. 
So he, he's back up to two. Yeah. Or he doesn't have to spend the droid, rather. Yeah, so effectively he has two. Oh, that's good. Good catch. Yeah. We missed that, too. Yeah. Just press. Yes. Yeah, we... we so the press in was missed, and they re-rolled it, and we're back up to two. Yeah, so we got confirmation that's exactly what happened there. Yeah, and this is what I mean. Like, so Ryan's Biggs is still on two with an integrator still functioning. Yep, yep, yep. And with the reinforce and the focus, hopefully, from Biggs, if he doesn't bump again, like, he's not necessarily dead next turn either. Rex is in a bit of a weird spot, though. What does he do? Like, one hard? I think you keep suppressing, you gotta keep suppressing the ghosts as often as you can, as much as you can. Yeah. But I imagine the ghost would be shooting towards the right. Yeah. Ship right or board or the ship? Just that way? Yeah. Interesting. Rex is pretty good. We had a buddy uh, who was running. It's great, 14 points. Yeah, who was running, uh, what's it called? Miranda and Nora. And he was saying that Rex is his mini bigs. Obviously, he can't fit bigs into that list, but he was saying everyone goes after Rex first, blah, 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 and all he does is he just kites with it. And it's, I have it's no really idea good. why he didn't shoot his five dice primary into Jess. I don't know. I mean, maybe he thought that he had to shoot bigs. Maybe. So I don't know. Yeah, Paulo, I, yeah, we couldn't agree more. I think he should have just toasted. Because the, the main thing is he would have been in a huge points advantage. Because half health on Biggs, or sorry, on Kanan is no longer sufficient, right? Because Jess is 29, half of Kanan is uh, 27 or whatever. I mean, it's not just that, though. Like, this list, that's... That is the offensive punch of the list. Like, just when you're in formation, it's just consistent three to four. I hope to God that Biggs is going to be in range one of that Jess. Oh, he's going for the block. Yep. Yeah, that's the right this call. Is what I would Keep have the suppress. Done. Perfect. Yep. Yeah, guys, the Talon would have been would have been okay sure. too. I think he's. I think he want. He really wants to focus right now, just cause she can't take another like you know rear shot or something. I'm really curious as to where Ryan's bigs will be. That's all right. Nice move. Nice move. Sure. Do you think that'll be range one Jess? Doesn't look it. Not to me. I think he might be. Oh, actually no. Yeah. That's a brilliant yes. move because if yep. if. If Bohan's Biggs bumps, uh, Bohan, or sorry, Ryan is going to have a shot there. This is brilliant this is nice. maneuvering. Not maneuvering, but like at least arc positioning. Um, he got it from Rex for sure, Jer Bear. I don't know if he got it from Biggs. He didn't need it. This is great. Part two. I don't know. You better hope he clears. I don't think that Ooh. clears. No, that doesn't clear. Brilliant. Brilliant move by nice, Ryan. Nice, yeah. Very nice block. Brilliant move. All right. Yeah. Let's see where this takes us. Again, Bohan's Biggs doesn't have a shot. Staying suppressed. Nor is Kanan's ability being used. Like, this is. Ryan has really put Bohan to a pickle here. <laughs> Dead. Yeah. Don't forget suppress, guys. Oh, lower shoots first. Wow, he has range on that, too. Mm, yeah. Oh my god. Two. Yeah. Kane and his shields down, Victor. Oh, I'll hit him in a second. Yeah. You got a chance. Yeah. Spending the focus. Oh. oh. 
<laughs> That's rude, Ugh. Ryan. Ryan, you look like a nice guy, but <laughs> oh, you're man. playing pretty mean right now. <laughs> Nathan, I don't know, man. These are both really, really like big games. They're at one health for a long ass time. Takes one. This is on bigs? Yeah, he's suppressed again. Target locking. He has a reinforce. Oh, spends it, reinforce. <laughs> classic so FSR. It's so disgusting. Just classic FSR. Dead. No, because he had his integrated. I think he might still be alive, yeah. Oh my god. Because of the last oh. round when he was suppressed. Yep. Yeah. Which means that's going to eat at least another full set of TLT. Dude, it's not even that. He can completely disengage now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And he only needs to deal what? Six, seven. He needs to deal one more damage or something? No, I mean, this is honestly the point where. He needs to deal one more damage to cannon and the game's in the bag. Ryan needs to step back and say, do I even need to keep. Oh, no, he did kill Pigs. No. Pigs is still alive? I'm confused. Oh, because he forgot he had integrated. Oh. Whoops. What the was that? I think Bohan thought that Pigs was dead, but. Did right. he pick up a ship? He picked up a ship. Oof. Shouldn't really be touching the opponent's ships. <laughs> I mean. Oh, yeah, FSR the moment Harpoon comes out, it's going to be a lot different. Have you guys seen the potential of that card? One of my it's opponents was disgusting. describing it to me. It was David or Dan, I forget. Yeah, it's but pretty good. He was describing it to me and like. It's I the was fact like, you take the, uh, this the face life. down damage and do the splash on it when the condition kicks in is brutal. It's anytime you take a crit. Yeah, it's brutal. Anytime. So he was saying, like, yeah, it triggers off of bombs. That's stupid. I think Ryan starts peeling and starts sending other ships in to do it. Again. I think you don't, you just win. You think so? Yeah. Why? Right. Reform everybody. That suppress is doing so much work. I mean, he doesn't really necessarily have to play for time, but he can certainly get his formation back up again. That's not really the bad call. Yeah, Bohan still has a chance, right? So Bohan can kill Biggs and kill Jess. Or low rig. In 12 minutes, he's got to do that. Yeah, but that's easy. Well, easy enough. Mean, you can know. see a big turn, like a uh, little it's, slot back in formation here. It's not, it's definitely not over. If he kills low rig or Jess and he keeps the rest, and he keeps Kanan on the board, uh, I think he wins. Whatever. Yeah, good. What's that? Whatever you're having. Whatever you're having. Just as long as you let me get you one after. Just so long as you uh, let us get you one after. Just as long as you let me get you one after. Just as long as you let me get you one after. It's fantastic. I've been drinking now for five hours straight. <laughs> Are we allowed to say that on stream? Yes. Are we allowed to say that? Billy Chandler and Jerry Russell took a shot together when they finally got into combat range of each other when they faced off? Yes. No, that one you're not allowed to say. Oh, shit. That's My a secret. Bad. <laughs> Alan, remember your NDA. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. That never happened. Billy would never do that. Billy hates drinking. He does. Yes. He's never once been the morale officer. Yeah. Well played by Ryan. And Bohan too, I mean like he got this far for a reason. I think it's just So 
I mean, do Ryan you, outplayed him a bit in this one. On that turn, do you not hard one the ghost to get back into trying to shoot? He's got to shoot something. Going the long way around, does that make sense to you guys? When time's against you? I think he's scared of, you know, going to a face-off. Maybe, maybe he's trying to build up a uh, ray focus again. I'm not, well, he has three right now. I'm not sure. Chris Mitchell. Uh, Duncan ahead. lost top 16, right? Yeah. To Nate. Duncan, yes. Duncan went 6-0 in Swiss. Uh, and then last round, or was it the round before? Last yeah. round. Lost to Ray Miranda. Yeah. In oh, a nail biter. Round 16, round 16. Right. So, yeah, previous round. Yeah, yeah. It's a very close match. Yeah, he lost to Nate. Yep. Apparently, um... Off the glitter stem and it didn't go yeah, so well. Yeah, some, uh, some pretty blank dice on glitter stem massage. Yeah, and then he also pulled damage engine and blinded pilot on the turn he was going to kill Nate's Ray. The same turn as glitter stem did nothing for him. It was tough. Yeah. But that happens sometimes. Ooh, we got Blair Bunky on the stream with us. You know, right, like we were watching last game and uh, Analdra drew the crit. Chances it's a direct hit? 100% when you're yeah. flying Analdra and you only have two hull left. Of course. You know what's going to happen. You're dead. Yes. Correct. Oh, super interesting. So he's peeling off and he's going to send Jess and she gets the one reroll and the suppressive. That's, that's I don't a, like this. I don't, I don't like this. You do that? If Jess dies and then Biggs dies, um, there's still 10 minutes. I don't understand this at all. Why would you do this? He's. Because uh, the condition's gone now. Yeah. And Kanan gets to shoot first. Yeah, Imperials did see the cut. We had one. On, we had yeah. one on stream. They only saw one. There was a lot. There was a fair number of Imperials floating right around. The yeah, cut. on the bubble. Yeah, the like, top. Had this yeah. been like a top twenty-four, even you yeah. would have saw a fair amount of Imperials. It's interesting to see the the shift in Imperials. Though, a lot of tankier, non-auto thruster based lists that are the ones that were higher up there. I think Imperials right now with just. Stuff like Nim and Bombs being around just really hurts them. They're fragile. They love auto thrusters, but they're just going to get bombed off the table. This also, is, yeah, when you get bumped and you still take really bomb weird. damage anyways. This is, yeah, this is, uh... I don't know what is going on. I don't know if Ryan's on the map here. You cannot afford to lose Jess. He wants to make it exciting for the stream. That's what's up. Yeah, Gold Squadron, we all completely agree. Yeah, none of us are a fan of him picking that up. Also, Jess is only getting one reroll. I mean, I guess that's one way to make this a game. Yeah. No. This is. I don't understand what. Uh, if Jess dies, no. this will be one of the craziest throws I've ever seen. And, and he evaded with uh, Rex. Yeah, because there's no way you're shooting. Ha! <laughs> Zach is an industry. Maybe that's what he's thinking right now. Oh, no. <laughs> Does that math check out? Let's see, so we get 27 from Kanan. Yeah. 26, so he'll be at 52. You, you look, you're right. If Kanan's the half, he wins if he loses Jess and Rex. But if he loses Jess and Biggs, and Kanan's still on the board, Bohan wins. And he's not killing her with only two damage dice, though. Oh, that's big. That's yeah. huge. What? Why didn't Bohan shoot? TLT. TLT, uh, Jess. I don't think these guys have done the math. No. Oh, Rex wow. doesn't make any difference. Even if Rex was off the board right now, he'd be in the exact same situation. He'd have to kill Biggs and a ship. I have no idea. And now he's suppressed for his secondary attack. 
Okay, so as an American coming into Canada, I have no idea what the deal with Tim Hortons is. It's some freakishly weird Canadian thing. Uh, like, it's actually no longer Canadian, it's now American. Oh, yeah, because Wendy's bought we it. We gave, yeah, and then they sold it. Um, so, Canon is down to four hull. Uh, we just threw a ton of dice in there. I'm confused who's dice to Exactly, lose. I think this is probably, they just don't have the math in front of them. You know, they're playing, and they're not, they're playing really fast. Like these last few rounds have gone extremely quick. <laughs> you just dodged it all. I know what you mean, but like, like you should know that Kanan is That's worth 27, 28 points. points. Yeah. I'd have. Yeah, I'm not sure why Bohan didn't just double TLT. The, um,. Jess? Jess. Yeah, I would. Yeah, you get one re-roll. But uh, granted, granted, Ryan did roll really well there, so he, he might not have done any damage, but especially with this impressive. <laughs> not going in, though. That's what I would have done. Yeah. Chris Allen, you're killing us, man. No, less than five. Less than five. Four less than five. And, yeah. Less than five. <laughs> Good. Oh, Travis rolling in here with. Oh, you are a gem of a human being. You are a national treasure. You are a gentleman and a scholar. Yeah. Thank you so Thank much. You, sir. Thank you, sir. I mean, I gotta console you somehow. Oh. Take Shots the beer fired. back. Shots fired. I don't want this beer no more. I'll take yours. It's fine. To you. Cheers, bud. Cheers. Watch that. Watch you come again. To you. Great weekends and good friends. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Cheers. Thanks, Travis. Mm-hmm. You are a wonderful man. All right. Did Jess forget to do an action? I don't know. Uh, these guys throw like this. Oh. He's going to eat a range one boy. shot out of the line. This. Oh, did he not care? Did he... Why didn't he 4K? No, I don't. Did just boost or something? Did I miss that? No, shouldn't have. Oh, did he go over a rock? I think we missed, uh... Did... Jess? I didn't see what Jess was doing. Oh, Jess in the rock, really? From where? <laughs> Jess is dead. Yeah. Nope. Oh, he's fire. Why is he shooting Rex? I have no idea what's going on. Why oh my the, god! Why is the destructor helmet in here? Stop shooting Rex. This is so hard to actually watch this game and not be able oh, to he took, and be like, did he take Rex off the board? He yeah. did, but like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't why wouldn't anything. he have killed Jess? Even when, even after he kills Bix, he still needs to kill Jess. I'm not quite sure I understand what's happening. I need an adult. This is insanity. Um, actually, if Bohan okay, so just... so Jess hit a rock and that's why she lost her action. If Bohan just rolled to hit Biggs, he would have had to shoot Biggs. No, 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 because Biggs has to be within range one of them. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Yep, my bad. So he, kill, so he killed Biggs. But he's still down on points though, isn't he? He's still down on points. This is half. way closer than it should have been. Well, now he's, he's got two minutes to call Jess now. I can only assume that Bohan was hoping well, to take away Jess's re You could also kill Lorik. Oh, that's true. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. But you imagine, know, but imagine if he had shot, imagine if he had shot Jess. Yeah, he wouldn't be rushing at this point. Then Bohan would already be in the lead. Yeah, you're right. So I guess the only thing now is that the only benefit he'll have now though is even if Lorik reinforces, well, I guess now he's going to be able to shoot him in the front if he turns him in. So yeah. do you turn your Lorik in or do you just try to run with him up the board? I don't know. Because I think you turn him in so that you reinforce. Oh, you think he runs with him? No, no, Turn no. him in, right? Because so you need, yeah, yeah, you need to only in. give him the reinforced side Lower to try to mitigate the sure. damage. Tell him. Yeah. Oh, tell him. 
three talent. Yeah, yeah that's a good call. This is way closer than it should have been. Yeah. So here's the question for you guys now. If Bohan can draw a line of sight, obviously it's closest to point, the closest to point, so he'll still have to shoot the front. Oh, he's thinking about He's going to try to boost past so he can shoot him in the rear where the reinforce isn't applied. No, but no, reinforce, no, reinfor reinfor reinforce is going to apply. Reinforce works if, if you're in the Wookiee's arc. Oh, which is a 50 50. If it's a front. So, okay, front. so there you if go. The Wookiee can shoot yeah. you. Yeah, so he can't get, get there behind it. Oh no, why is he shooting low rank? Does he not know the time? Tell Don that there's 30 seconds for me. You know what? Don's got the clock. He's the table judge. His clock matters not this one. Okay. So we don't tell him anything about time. Sorry. All right. So uh, apparently the the table judge time is being used instead of this one. So there's probably. We're up with the table judge time oh. now. Oh, we are. Okay. So this is real time. This is probably so this the last is round. This is the last round. And he didn't shoot it. He could have killed just this round potentially. Twice? He's got four left. He's half. Yeah. No, I mean, likely, guys, this is the last round. I actually think Bohan's going to squeak this. How? Oh. Uh, I think he's going to pop lower. Oh, Jess is down. He's shooting at Jess. No, he's shooting Jess. Looks like. He's got one more damage to get but Jess has any. Oh, she's got innovated. She's alive, no matter what happens. Yeah, she does. Oh, she's popped it already. I think he that. literally just won wow. on that last turn. Yeah. He Holy just cow. won on that turn because he just killed Jess. Wow. I, um, wow. Um, I'm not 100% sure what happened there at the end. That was kind of hectic. He couldn't kill Kanan, I guess. That was one left. That was... That was rough. Wow. So that was interesting. <laughs> It was exciting. Um. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> kind of stopped.